Hey designers, what's going on? My name is Fami MD and I'm a UX UI designer in Toronto. Today, guys, is an exciting video because we are going to do UI design, also known as the user interface design. So let's go ahead and to do that. Okay, so first and foremost, I have all of the competi competitors' websites on my tab right now. I feel like I'm forgetting one, but I pretty much know what I'm going to do based on the uh, examples that I have here. Uh, number two is I have my Adobe XT you know, open, and this is a wireframe that I did on the previous video, link in description. Go ahead and check it out. So I got the site now, which I don't need right now. So this is my wireframe. I'm just gonna duplicate it, and I don't need any of the style guides, actually, for those two. Uh, this can stay or whatever. Okay, so now we are going to begin. So the first and foremost thing is we're gonna do is, this is, this is the part where we are going to make the look, which is the user interface, look really good well appealing in terms of sales wise in terms of um users users point of view because users do judge a book by its cover i think steve jobs said that yeah but i'm not really like an apple guy anyway so let's go ahead and do that so based on the branding i don't really have much except this color which is red and then i got this grayish color so what we're gonna do here folks yeah we're gonna go to the competitors and see the navigation bar color that they have chose which is just basic and i will keep this as that maybe make this one white yeah that would work uh, this is fine. That's fine. Uh, let's just change this color to, you know what? I need something. I would need this red. So I just want to do that for a second and put it in here. And I would also need this one right here. And let's also add that to the palette. Okay, so far so good. I actually like this color, so let's take this. Oh, whoa, what just happened here? Let's take this icon here, put it to this dark gray. Looking so much better. Looking so much better, yeah? So call to action, I might do, I'm just thinking out loud here, I might do red for now, I guess. There we go. And make this guy white or black. Nah, white's better. And let's do some canvas work here. So let's take this out for a second. Canvas five ten would be better. Go ahead and do ten. By the way, this um, kit will be a uh, this kit will be available for download. So the link for that is in description below. All I ask in return is for you guys to uh, subscribe to to this channel. And now I have a bunch of ads that I've done for this client called Live Boho Way. That's right, I know how to do graphic design. I'm gonna take this guy right here, or her, paste it right there, because we're cousins right now. And I will just lock that, yeah. And move this dude out for a second. And just unlock it. I'm gonna take this out. And this style here, it will be similar to this with, the, uh, with an image in the background. You got your uh, content here. It's also similar to Adidas as well. So I guess they're both cousins, if you know what I'm saying. I'm just joking. The lighting is so bright here. Let's just, there we go. Much better. Okay. So yeah, so we're gonna do something, something like this and that. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and I will, hmm. I'm gonna take this one, what color is this? Okay, go ahead. So I'm just gonna do that and then take this person, put it right here. Banners can be done in Photoshop, by the way. This is like designing a banner is really not your job. It's the graphic designer's job. But however, you know, if you wanna add this into your portfolio, knowing that you can do banners, I mean, it's a great way for you guys to get a job. Uh, it's a huge uh, asset to have. Um, even till now, I have done some graphical work in my life, and um, which made me keep my job. So 
So this, this is it, quite simple, very nice, which are small, eh? which are small. I mean, if you have a duplicate color, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, so let's just do that here for now. I don't wanna spend too much time doing the banners here because the main goal is to do user interface. All right, so let's just lock these guys. Um, you can have this content at the bottom corner or in the center, um, left, right, or just in the center here. I'm just gonna keep things nice and simple. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next one. Is do I want the popular products to be like this or should I make it all caps? Let's see what the competitors are doing. They have it all caps here. Nike does not. Gymshark has it all caps. Okay, that's two. And these guys don't have it all caps. Hmm. I'm just gonna do all caps for now. I think it will definitely stand out. So now we're going to place an image here. So let's do it for one of them. I'm just gonna do, I think two. I'm gonna do one here and there. So let's see how that's gonna go. So let's, and then just duplicate all the way across. Ah, I think this is gonna be a very short video, Mike. It's gonna be a very short video, yeah? Uh, so far we're what, six minutes in, I guess. I have a list of images. So let's put this one here. But it has no border. That work, yes it did. And then we're just going to make it as light as possible. This was quite nice, which is most you are out. You're out of here. You're out, go ahead here. My God, what's going on? What's going on, yeah? What's going on, my? Save your work, always, always, always save your, you fit your work now. Save your work. No, see, that's the problem now. If you're going to add an image, make sure the background is consistent with whichever one you want to go with. All these guys have the same background here. Gymshark as well. Um, don't embarrass me. Yeah, so they also have the gradient that goes all the way. Gray from the bottom, white at the top, which is great. So we need to make sure that it is consistent in that way. So for the heck of it, let's just stick to white. Okay, so now we can just take this guy out here. Take this out. Uh, take this out. Boom. Duplicate it right here. I'm just gonna lock this for a second, place it on top. But let's see how the hovers are here. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, it's like a white grayscale. That's nice, actually. Background. Oh, sweet. Do like that, okay, perfect. And quick buy, I feel like it's too big. So let's just uh, make it to 15 and do a bold here. There we go, I think this is so much better. Like that. Oops, bring it down a little bit and then we can just do that and let's just, you know what, hug it out. There we go, two nuts on tower. Now I'm gonna ungroup this for a second, yeah? I'll ungroup it again. Interesting. Uh, no. No, you know what? Let's just take this one out for a second. Let's make this white. Perhaps add a little bit of dark shadow versus no. And... No, I don't like that. Let's do this and then make this zero. No, keep this six. Yeah, this is better. Zero, zero. Um, it's too strong. Something like this can work, but if I'm going to do a hover, I will make this black. There we go, now it makes more sense. Okay, now it makes more sense. And then I can just decrease this for a second, like that, and then. There we go. You know what? Three. Perfect. And so now I can just select all of these guys. It's just to show a client an example. So if I'm gonna show a client an example, I'm just gonna get rid of this for a second. In the prototype tool, you can show them the hover effect as well, but 
and this just for the heck of it I'm gonna do it here to show it to you guys so I'm gonna select all these guys make them black and then the text I hope you guessed it it will be white okay so this is kind of this is the hover effect which is similar it's, it's going to be similar to this style here okay I don't know why they have an icon there I don't I don't get that that's so extra but anyways it'll be like this um, this is 20 I don't want the 20 let's also make this 15 actually yeah this is so much better okay so we're just gonna go back here and make this 15 as well and always make sure that everything is perfectly aligned alignment is for me is what makes a very good design i mean it just shows how detailed you are so you will begin to do the same thing here save your work i hope you guys are designing with me while i'm doing this i mean that'll be more fun i should actually do a video like a live uh, live stream where we'll say like hey come design with me <laughs> i'm going crazy so far so good okay so this is the products now in terms of the tags we can do this or that i'm just gonna leave it as this yeah continue if i need to come back here i'll definitely come back here uh this is a notification bar and in my experience notification bar should really stand out because this is technically where you also sell like free shipping free this free that uh would be great let's see this could also stand out okay now moving forward these are also known as banners so what we're gonna do here is this design will be similar to the banner that we have here so all we have to do is get rid of this for a second um ungroup this and we can copy this put it there, duplicate it here uh grab an image plus i guess this one why not okay this is great uh we're going to shrink this a bit like that should be good i think do the banners when you're doing banners you need to do them in photoshop trust me i'm going to do my best here right now okay this fits like that you got to find a way to like erase this from photoshop or you can just do this take the color remove the background and no not this one here you gotta take this one out oops go to objective blur and you're just erasing it from here see and just copy paste that put it at the top and then make this guy go all the way straight like this and you can go all the way straight like that this way kind of blend in but this is this is not the right way of doing it like i said just uh do it in photoshop okay i'm gonna ungroup this this guy's gonna be 10 and then red all right so far so good yeah so this is this is the type of concept you can also apply as well and this one here that can work you can do something where both of the sides are completely different uh, Nike also has a great example, which is right here. Gymshark's design is very similar to Nike's. Yeah, and then and, uh, and then you can also do something like this. So this banners, these banners here, they actually did it in Photoshop. Okay, so the same concept can get applied over here. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it right here. And this is the same style as the one over here. So what we're gonna do is just grab one of them, bring it out, and kapow, to click on repeat grid. And that's right, my friend, tuna salsa, we are gonna go and touch the sky. Okay, this is the newsletter. We are almost there, almost done. So first off, yes, bye-bye now. And we are obviously going to change the color of this. When it comes to CTA, just stick to one color. Stop having three, four different colors on your UI design when it comes to CTA. They're very, very, very important. Um, 
right click again. So many times I like right click and ungroup, it gets so annoying. So in this case, what we can do is, okay, we can just round the right side corner. So we're gonna click right here, do 10 and then, oops, do 10 here. And same thing with this one. We are going to ungroup, and then ungroup again, right? No. Good. I'm gonna go here, 10, oops, and 10, perfect. Take this one, and I'm just gonna maybe just do white, just for now, I'm just gonna do this white, and. Once again, this is also a graphic designer's job to design this, but you know what? We are out here, and we're gonna do whatever we can, yeah? So first off, I'm just gonna lock this for a second, take this guy, bring it down here, so this for more room to work with. Copy and paste the same size with some tuna sauce R. And now we're gonna have to find the right picture for this and make sure that it's okay. We are now almost done. So let's bring this a little bit closer. No harm because it's desktop and uh, yeah, there we go. So far, so good. This is how everything looks right now. All right, so we went from sitemap to wireframe and to the UI design on Adobe XD. Uh, just a quick reminder again, if you're not a graphic designer, this part here, the banner, so it's one, two, and three, a graphic designer needs to do them and most likely they'll do it in Adobe Photoshop. If you are doing it, if you're the person who can do this, then obviously you know that you can do it a thousand times better in Adobe Photoshop and not in XD. This don't really have a better tool for it yet. However, you can, I believe you can also right click and edit on Adobe Photoshop. Right click, damn, where did it go? Yeah, edit in Photoshop, so, so you can do that. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe, click, click on the bell icon, all that fun YouTube stuff. Uh, this is part of the free UX UI design course, which I have, if you guys do not know, a link is in the description below. I've talked about a lot of other fun things, so go ahead and check those out. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, but I'm mostly active on Instagram. My social media links is in, the description below. The next video is prototype. So I hope you guys are you know on track with these videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.